I'm here today at the Hopeland area here in Statsburg, New York. I was hoping the rain was going to hold off, but I don't think it's going to. The reason why I'm out here is hopefully to inspire you, no matter what the weather is, is to get outside and do a little bit of exercise. Well, once again, it's not the best day to be out, but I have a day off, and I thought I should get out and get one of my days of exercise in. This is my first time here at the Hopeland Trail here in Statsburg. I've lived here for 17 years, and I've never heard of this place. Thanks to the All Trails app, I was able to locate this place and, and check it out. So this trail is a 1.6 mile loop. It's rated as easy according to all trails. And uh, it looks like the rain is starting to pick up a little bit. So better start going. So you ever get the feeling that nature doesn't want you out here? Um, there's a horsefly that keeps biting me. Some squirrel dropped a black walnut down at me. You know, I think that they don't want me here, but I'm here. So here's another trail marker, the Huntington Trail. This is another trail that's not on any of the maps that I've seen, but, and I don't know where it goes. Maybe we'll come back a different day and check it out. So the rain is starting to pick up a little bit, and I think we're pretty close to the end, but I'm not really sure. Let's just keep going. Here's a cool little Adirondack bench. I thought this was the path back to the parking lot, but instead I found this. I'm pretty sure I've located the front seat of Fred Flintstone's car. Mystery solved. This is the view from that rock bench. You can see the clouds are here. I was going to say the clouds are rolling in, but the clouds are here already. There are some exposed roots along the way, so make sure you're wearing some good supportive footwear. Knowing that it was going to be wet out today, I decided to wear these old pair of running shoes. Um, maybe some hiking boots would have been a better idea, but, you know, I really didn't know what to expect from this trail. I was going to comment on how nicely marked everything is, but I think I'm lost. I said earlier that I'm going to check out this Huntington Trail, and I think now's the time, because the other trail I took brought me into a loop, and although it was cool, um, I gotta get back to the car. Okay, so here's another fork in the road, but uh, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. So I'm going to say... I'm going to go this way, because I think this is where the car is. So this is the backside of Dragonfly Pond, I think it was called. So at least I know I'm in the right area. Okay, now I'm at the point where I don't really know where I am anymore. What I should have been doing is using the All Maps app to show me where I am along the trail and to use the directional uh, software that they have. Instead, I'm at another nice bench. If it was a better day and it wasn't raining, I'm sure that I would really enjoy this, but it's, uh, I'm getting wet. I want to get back to the car. I just turned on the All Maps app it showed me exactly where I am on the trail and how to get back out. Uh, it's a great app. If you don't have it on your phone, you should put it on today. Um, I need to start heading this way. And not trip. So I want to give a shout out to some of my subscribers. Aiden, thank you for showing me this app. I really appreciate it. Art, I still haven't done the Nori Point Trail. It's 4.6 miles. I'm really waiting for a good day, but I will get to it. If you'd hit the bell, I'd really appreciate it. This way you can be notified when the next video becomes available. 
another bench. I think these are bluebird houses. There are also these beautiful black walnut trees. And on some of the lower branches you can see some of the black walnuts. I'm not sure what kind of plant this is. I know my friend Christian, who's an arborist, would know. I'm going to have to ask him. It's got some really cool berries on it and great colors in the fall. So I've been here before too. And I know that the car is that way. Let's go. So, in an attempt to save the battery, I didn't use the app the way I was supposed to, and I got a little lost. It took me longer than I had expected, but it was still a nice day. I see I did about 4,300 steps. Uh, I guess that's a mile and a half, two miles. It took a little longer than I had expected, but... Okay, I'm back here at the car, and I hope that you enjoyed this. If you could comment below, I'd really appreciate it. I know that I shouldn't put that at the end of the video because most of the people won't make it to this point. But if you would, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Have a great day.